Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say our blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all you people of Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. We have three reads today, and they're all in Matthew. Matthew 6, 1 through seven twenty nine. <laughs> Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them for then you will have no reward from your father who is in heaven thus when you give to the needy sound no trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may be praised by others truly i say to you they have received their reward but when you give to the needy do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that you your giving may be in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you <coughs> excuse me and when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, and they may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Don't be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him pray then like this our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in, as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for if you forgive others their trespasses your heaven father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive others their trespasses neither will your father forgive you your trespasses <clears throat> sorry and when you fast do not look gloomy like the hypocrites for they disfigure, disfigure their faces that their fasting might be seen by others truly i say to you they have received their reward but when you fast anoint your head and wash your face that your fasting may not be seen by others but by your father who is in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not lay up for yourself treasure on earth, where moth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also. The eye is the lamp of the body, so if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light is light in your in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Elohim and money. <coughs> Therefore, if I tell you, don't be anxious about your life, what will you eat or what will you drink? Nor about your body, what you will put on. Put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? And which of you being anxious can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, and they neither toil or spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if Elim so clothes the grass of the field which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of Elohim and his, 
in his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for today is its own trouble. Judge not that you be not judged, for the judgment you pronounce you will, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is on your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly and take the, to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is holy. Do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. <clears throat> Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, it will be opened. Or which of you, if his son asks him to break bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law in the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, for this gate is wide, and the way is easy, that leads to destruction, and those who enter by it are many. And the gate that is narrow is the way is hard and leads to life, and those who find it are few. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You recognize them by their fruits, or grapes gathered from thorn bushes, or figs from thistles. So every healthy tree bears good fruit, by the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fr fruit, near, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will recognize them by their fruits. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the ones who do, who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do mighty works, many mighty works in your name? And then I'll declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Everyone then who hears the words of mine and does them will be like a wise man, but who built his house on the rock, and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And any everyone who bears these words of mine, and does not do them, will be like foolish man who builds, builds his house on the sand. The rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat against the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And when Yeshua finished saying these things, the crowds were astonished at his teaching. For he was teaching them as one who has authority and not as their scribes. Matthew 15, 1 through 11. When the Pharisees and scribes came to Yeshua from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For do, they do not wash their hands when they eat. He answered them, And why do you break the commandment of Elohim for the sake of your tradition? For Elohim commanded on your father and your mother, and whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. But you say, if anyone tells his father or his mother, what would you have gained from me is given to Elohim? He did not, he need not honor his father. For the sake of your traditions, you may have, you have made void the word of Elohim, you hypocrites. Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you when he said, thus, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the people to him and said to them, Hear and understand, it is not what goes in the mouth that defiles a person, but one com what comes out of the mouth that this defiles a person. Matthew nineteen sixteen through 30 And behold, a man came up to him, saying, Teacher, what good deed must I do? do to have eternal life and said to him why do you ask me what is good there is only one who is good 
If you would enter life, keep the commandments, he said to him. Which ones? And Yeshua said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to himself, All these I have kept, what do I still lack? And Yeshua said to him, If you would be perfect, go sell what you possess and give to the poor. And you will all have treasure in heavens and come follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. And Yeshua said to his disciples, Truly I say to you, only with difficulty will a rich person enter the kingdom of heaven. Again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. When his disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? But Yeshua looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, with Elohim all things are, are possible. Then Peter said in reply, See, we have left nothing and followed you. Well, we have left everything and followed you. What then will we have? Yeshua said to them, Truly I say to you, in the new world, when the Son of Man will sit on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, and everyone who, is, who has left houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and last first. Blessed art thou, Adon Eloheinu, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adon, I give her the Torah, Bruka Ta Eleheinu malaka lo mashanatalanu tereti met vaishi elom na tabeta kinu brukata donai natina tarah.